Okay, in this video, we're going to show you how to rotate parts in SketchUp. We have an airplane laid out here um, called the Big Nasty, and we're going to show you how to rotate the parts to try to attempt to build a 3D model. Um, if you go to see how thick the lines are here, I like to just turn these um, lines thinner by turning the profiles off on edge style. It's just my preference on that, but. Let's go over to the orbit tool, orbit this around. Let's go to camera and put on perspective view. And um, this is our flat plane here. So we're going to take, select one of these uh, sides. And using the move tool, we're going to hold down control to copy that. Just move it out here. Now, you notice with the move tool select it, let's zoom in on this, if you hover over top of any of these red plus marks you get the protractor and you can basically rotate it any way you want which um, is fine but we want to stand this part up so in order to do that let me hit control Z bring it back to normal, undo that operation um, to, in order to do that you need to select these edges uh, they're hard. It's one of the hard things that they have set up in SketchUp is, you know, trying to grab these edges. Uh, a lot of people can't find them, but if you zoom in and use your orbit tool to where you're looking basically at the edge, and then go back to the move tool, you'll see you can grab these edges. If I go to this edge, see I can't even select these edges. But if I use my orbit tool again over here, and then go back to the move tool. Now I can grab these edges, rotate it this way. Control Z, undo that. But we want to stand it up, so we want to rotate it up this way. So let's use the move tool. Uh, another thing is if you're outside of this protractor here, you can go anywhere in between these 15 degree ticks that they have set up on the protractor but if you hover over the protractor you can see how you can lock to these reference points which is nice because we want to go uh, exactly 90 degrees and if you look down in the right hand corner it's set up at 90 degrees so we'll just click it again and now we have that set up uh, let's lift it up a little bit along the blue axis. That looks good. And that's basically how you rotate your uh, parts in SketchUp. I hope that helps you guys.